Good morning, everyone. So on this day, we are beginning our morning at a rooftop patio. We just kind of wanted to sit and relax for a little while, take in some good views, and enjoy a good meal. This restaurant is literally called Panoramic Restaurant, and as you can see, it is beautiful. There are 360 views all over the city. You can see both the Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque. And then on the other side, the Suleymaniye Mosque and the Bosphorus River. And it was actually a little bit awkward because we first went to that place across their Arden Terrace. The guy on the street was like, come in my restaurant, it has the best views, you can see everything. But when we went upstairs, our view was blocked by this restaurant. So we had to awkwardly get up from our table and be like, oh, we don't want to eat here. We changed our mind. We want to go. Anyway, we crossed the street and went to Panoramic Restaurant. And I'm so glad that we decided to do that. It was such a nice experience. The food was really good. So the cost of all the food on this table was about $44 Canadian, including the tip. I'm having Turkish ravioli with yogurt and Tony got a kebab platter. And again, the whole thing, $44 total, including the tip, which is amazing. You can never eat somewhere like this for that price in Canada. So after our wonderful rooftop patio brunch, we headed over to see the Hagia Sophia, which has some interesting history. So originally it was a Greek Orthodox church built by the Byzantines in the year 537, and then only later was converted to a mosque by the Ottomans uh, when they took over in the 1400s. As a result, you can still see Christian mosaics inside that were covered underneath the plaster. Give me a tour. Okay. It's just neat to see the juxtaposition of both Islamic and Christian symbols together, so like the seraphim angels as well as Islamic calligraphy. Unfortunately, some of the Christian mosaics were covered up when we went because it was Ramadan, so they just covered them up, I guess. There's Mary and Jesus. See in there?
Outside of the Hagia Sophia, there are the tombs of Ottoman sultans. Here you can admire the beautiful Iznik tiles, which are these colorful tiles with red, dark blue, and turquoise colors. And turquoise is special to Turkey. This color was originally made from stuff here in Turkey, and then when they exported it to France, they called this specific color turquoise, which means like Turkish, basically. So outside the Hagia Sophia, there is a lovely park with fountain and across the way you can see the Blue Mosque, which has been featured on the view of several postage stamps. So if that interests you, you can go learn about it on my Stamp Cat YouTube channel. <laughs> So now we didn't know what to do next and a guy walked up to us and said we could get a discount on a sunset cruise and we thought why not we didn't have any other plans for the day um, so we decided to go on this riverboat cruise on the Bosphorus. Here on the riverboat cruise, you can admire a lot of the city's famous landmarks from the water. The cruise boat turns around at the Rumeli Fortress. This fortress was important in protecting the city of Istanbul with its cannonballs. It would fire at any ships that pass by without paying a toll, and also fire the cannons anytime that the Sultan was coming or going to welcome him.
what I enjoyed the most about the riverboat cruise experience was the views that you get of the city once the sun starts to set. The colors with the backdrop of the Istanbul skyline are just beautiful. So that alone was worth it, even if it kind of just seems like a boat ride. I'm not sure that we learned a whole lot historically, but for the pictures and the view of the city by sunset alone, um, I think it was worth it. As usual, we decided to end our day eating our new favorite Turkish dessert, kunefe, at a restaurant near our hotel. Cut it like a pie. This is kunefe, one of our favorites. Oh, I see the cheese. Normally you should have it with tea. They are a perfect pairing. They yeah, were the pistachios. But we did not. Yes, sometimes it has pistachio flakes on the sometimes top. Sometimes it doesn't. This is our second time eating it. How is it? If you like, if you like. Good? I'm going to eat some now too. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next part. Bye for now.